Welcome people to Rear Fever's last cast for today. Today we have Typhoon Arena, a uh, fairly common map among Argus Gate and all the other ones. Anyway, our red team we have Mr. Skip playing the Chaos Lord, very melee orientated hero, very strong and can walk through suppression. Helping him is Ryan playing the Tech Marine Commander of the Space Marines. Very supportive hero, can put up turrets and beacons to rally your allies. Ghetto Shopper helping them on top, playing the Warlock Commander of the Eldar. Very melee oriented hero, same as the Chaos Lord. Uh, fast and agile, can use spells to uh, utterly destroy enemies. Facing him on top is also a warlock commander of the Eldar, but he is played by Dalak. And uh, yeah, I've already said what it is about him. He's melee orientated. Oh, we have Lilith here playing the Farseer of the Eldar, going, get, going down against the Banshees of Ghetto Shopper as he managed to get them down in mid, helping Mr. Lil. Yeah, no, helping Mr. Uh, Ryan out. On bot, facing the Chaos, we have Shaitan, playing the Commissar Lord of Imperial Bond. See here, he's using his Sentinel in a nice way of microing, upgrading it just in time to get that stump to force off the heretics. But the Guardian, Guardsmen of his Imperial Guard were forced off by the heretics as they reached their lines, but are forced off eventually as well. Left on the field is the Commissar and one Garsman and Sentinel going up against Chaos Space Marine. On top, we see that Ryan pushed through and broke through uh, Lilith, Lilith uh, defensive, the defenses and pulled her back. Re engaging with Guardians against Tech Marines and uh, two scouts, Guardians are going down and got wiped. <coughs> On top, Dalak is taking top as Ghetto Shopper is not present. See, Ryan is destroying the power, natural blue, and we had a have a overtaking down bot by Shaitan, forcing off the chaos. So we will skip. Still power going down in mid. Dalek is pulling back as Scare Shopper is moving in. See attack coming in from the chaos. Yet again. Heretics being forced off by the stomp from the Sentinel as Sentinel is microing back. Should get a repair from the guards. One guard stays behind. Almost getting caught up by the heretics, but the heretics goes into grenade just as they reach them, unleashing their grenades upon them, dealing a lot of damage, killing off a few of them, making all of the guardsmen of Shaitan fall into a retreat. On top we have Dalak and Lilith. Pushing in mid, throwing off Mr. Ryan as he's been forced off. On top, Ghetto Shopper is reclaiming slowly. Bad mic ring, should micro up there and there at the same time. Decides to go mid with two banshees and guards. Have a setup team from Dalak <coughs> in a good position might see the armies here get flanked as we see guardsmen of Dalek are the first to see them coming. They're pulling back down to bot as they feel they can't retreat the way they came. But facing them is nonetheless than Skip's Chaos and they are shooting at them. Banshee is engaged. All are falling back except one. No, they are also falling back as they take too much damage to stay and fight. <coughs> In comes Shaden. Also supported by a setup team from Lilith. And my dog is going crazy about something. In comes the Chaos, Chaos Lord using his flame ability as he has upgraded with the Combi Flamer. We're dealing a lot of damage but Beast is being forced off by the setup team and all the guardsmen also see Katashans in the mix. Commissar Lord advancing up against the Chaos Space Marines. 
Ryan forcing his way back into mid. <laughs> Sorry. Attacking the natural power of blue. Lilith is now Dalek. <laughs> Sorry again. Dalek is present with a setup team and Rangers trying to force them off as Ryan is moving down to bot, flanking Lilith. Lilith's setup team is facing the wrong way, so if they move into melee, they will get them, but they move straight in front of it and gets caught by the suppression team. This will surely be a fallback. Yes, there it goes. As they are being flanked by Mr. Lil. No, saying. Mr. Shaitan Scarsman as well as they were down here. In comes Mr. Skip's Chaos Space Marine. Heretics being hit by the Karashan's grenade launcher. On myth, Dalek is taking the resource point as Gatorshopper has claimed the entire top. Going up against a warlock with his guardsmen. Not an ideal position. Will be forced back if not get supported by something. On bottom we see a firm hold coming down from Lilith and Mr. Shaden as they are cooperating, trying to take bottom. We have a mine in place. Will it be a good position? We don't have any detection out of the red. No, they saw it and they are microing it away from it. They get pushed into it. Will it be unleashed now? No, still not. There it goes. Not an excellent hit, but still a hit. Forcing off some of them. Farseer overextending, going to get killed by the, all of the Banshees that are present. In comes Mr. Skip's Chaos Lord, forcing off the Guardsman as he flanks them. Setup team of Lilith is having a hard time dealing with all of this. Shaden is also present, coming in with his uh, Sentinel. Lilith's team is being flanked by the Chaos Lord of Skip. And the setup, uh, I mean the Sentinel is being gunned down by the Chaos <coughs> Chaos soldiers and forced off a little bit. As well as the Guardsman being hit by the Combi Flamer from the Chaos Lord. Don't know where he went. Let's see where he is. He's probably dead somewhere. Yeah, he died there. As he tried to defend himself, in comes Ryan. As he has moved down bot, grenading and forcing off Lilith setup team. On top, we have a reattack from Daka. Attacking Gator Shopper and forcing him off, reclaiming top. As it looks like. On bot, we see Ryan and. Oh well, Mr. Skip is being rest. There he goes. Up and up and up and. See, upgrades going down for the scouts. They. No, it was not. It was these guys. Stern, veteran guard, got in. To play. Skip bashing natural power of blue. Grenade launchers. In comes Banshees from Lilith being caught by setup team of Ghetto Shopper, I guess. Yes. Shaden is charging in with his Commissar Lord in front, going to get caught by the setup team, forced off and probably into back to base since he's very low on health. There he goes. Dakia is reclaimed top. I think, yeah, Gator Shopper is coming in. We see he has upgrades on his uh, Warlock. He has the Witchblade of Corners, Grant Eternal Slash ability. This is like an AoE slash that uh, forces close by melee guys off. Champion Rope that grants physical shield ability and increases the health of the Warlock. And lost, uh, lost uh, defense, I guess. Use the shield, take uh, damage instead of health. Then we have the warp throw ability that can lift people up in the air and throw them away at any selected distance, uh, selected uh, direction. Like we just saw him move, use, forcing them all the way into his banshees. As we see a plasma grenade hitting the banshees, almost killing all of them, wiping one of the units, almost decimating the other one. Left on the field is the warlock of. Uh, Daka, yes? No. Ghetto, no. Lilith? Who is it that is up there? It's a red, a red dude. Must be him. Yeah, it's Ghetto Shopper. He's purely outgunned, so he, he will... But he can use his uh, slash ability. No, he's not. 
Anyway, I'm bot. Ghetto Shoppers setup team is being flanked by Lilith's Banshees as they micro well enough to come into play. We have a Dreadnought out of Mr. Skip as it is advancing against bot <coughs> DP. Mr. Ryan is also present with Stern Guards. Chaos Lord is in the play and present. There goes the Guardsman being wiped out this game. We have a Sentinel unleashing missiles against the Stern Guard hitting the wall. Mr. Shaitan is not aware of this height differences that makes anything trying to shoot up there, especially missiles and such, miss. Same goes for devastating squads and plasma devastators and whatever we have here. They always hit the steers. We have to micro and move them up. Anyway, we have Ogrens out of Shaitan going up against the Dread of Skip, chasing it down with the help of Lilith Farseer. She also has upgrades. She has the Doombringer, grants the Doom ability, increased damage on selected targets. Now she just upgraded to the Sync Spear, which is very effective against vehicles. She, then she has Rune Armor, uh, granting her a physical storm ability that deals damage, damage and suppresses suppress enemy teammates. Then we have the Ghost Helms, an enabled Mind War ability that can physically deal damage and suppress enemy target. So she is a hunter, but is being forced off as she's being focused on by the Chaos of Skip. But the Chaos of Skip is surely being outgunned and outmanned by Mr. Mr. Shaden. No, I was wrong. Mr. Shaden did not have more units present, so he is being forced off as a librarian. Ryan comes into play and is being present. Charges into the setup team, being flanked by the Banshees and is in a forced retreat. Might go down as well, I think he know. Banshees being slowed by the Mr. Tech Marine who has the Master Crafter Bolter. Crafted Bolter. <clears throat> Very effective against range, can suppress enemy targets and such. Also have the Cygnus Armor. Granting him the mark target ability, which can increase range target damage on the targeted unit. Also have the orb of Ormit, Om Ominash, grenade that drains energy, uh, damage and temporarily immobilize enemy vehicles. We have a cap coming down from Ghetto Shopper on top as he has reclaimed. No enemy present to stand against him. Skip is trying to go up against all of this, but I don't think he knows more than maybe the first four or five units. In they go. <coughs> Skip is present, unleashing his outer cannon from the dread and the grenades from his heretics. In comes a blast from the Wraith Lord, Wraith Guard, I mean, almost wiping the uh, the heretics. But the the dreadnought took a lot of damage, and the commissar of Shaden finished it off with a heavy blow out of his Sinus powered claw that is very effective against all vehicles and heavy units Doesn't deal as much damage as the legendary legendary power fist he has, but it's still a very good option also have the stubbornness that will oh, His health regeneration increased by 10th percentage of every 12 second and his damage is increased by blah 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 when surrounded by blah 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 amount of guardsmen. You can all read it if you are interested. A flank coming out of Dhaka as he has a webgate on top. The shopper is not aware of this and he's being a little bit caught out of where as he's not present with that much soldiers but the setup team is facing the right direction and is suppressing <coughs> the guardsmen of Dhaka. In comes an arc arc from Dakia, smashing, no, from Lilith, smashing straight down into the setup team of uh, Ghetto Shopper and wiping it out of this game. Arc arc escaping with minimum life into the web gate as the, web, the setup team of Dakia is not facing the right way and is being forced off, as we could have seen either a grenade or something else coming down from Ryan, but yeah, he threw a grenade, but it's a little bit too late. <coughs> Mr. Skip is also present in the mid, but what he needs to do is head down here and deal with Mr. Shade and who is smashing power of natural red. Have claimed the bot BP <coughs> unhindered. We have a D Link cannon team here, might try to unleash a Vortex. 
something is coming down here. Yeah, I think we have a... no. Yes, there we have a Vortex. Will it hit the Imperial Guards? It will. Yes, it will. Oh, so much kill, so much devastation. Devastation. Almost getting wiped. There they go. Oh, one team got wiped. One escaped. One is still present. Probably going to take it, be taken out. There he goes. That was an excellent shot out of Ghetto Shopper with his dealing cannon, utterly destroying the Imperial Guards of Shaden, wiping two of his units, forcing him into a retreat. Making Bot very weak, <coughs> as Lilith is the only present except one Sentinel out of Shaden who is still present. Don't know what he's shooting, but it looks like he's shooting crack missiles, which is the wrong missile. He should be shooting anti infantry missiles. But maybe he's trying to get deal with a dreadnought and forgot to change. Banshee's rushing in, getting locked down by the tech marine. As I mentioned earlier, he has that ability to lock people down with target, increasing damage they take. We have the farce here in the fray of it being forced off. As he oh yeah, he is taken down. By range, Arc Arc is trying to do its best, but being uh, attacked by. I don't really know what he's being attacked by. Looks like the Tech Marines. No, the Stern Guards. He is also being forced off. In comes the Ogrens out of Shadon, who has replenished and regrouped. They are a fearsome foe, but we have a great unclean one out of Skip, as he will probably force off these Ogrens. Ogrens are good at dealing with the Great Unclean One, but all alone and uh, not supported. <coughs> it's not an ideal position. We'll see here if Skip goes down. Nope, he escapes. As the Ogrens pull back, I don't know why they do this. They left, leave the Banshees in the fray of it. The Banshees are being forced off. In comes the dealing cannon <coughs> of Mr. Ghetto. Ogrens are rushing in. And are engaging the dealing cannon, forcing them off. In comes a wipe on, I don't know who was standing there, but they are dead. Out of the Wraith Guards, as they unleashes their deadly volleys, Ogrens engage, engages the Unclean One, and Unclean One is in a retreat, <coughs> unleashing his stump of poison. But not before... Mr. Shaden is able to take down the Librarian out of Orion. In comes an Avatar of Cain from Ghetto Shopper. <coughs> As his sheer size and intimidation is forcing off the Lilith. Have a cap coming down on top from Ghetto Shopper as he managed to secure it from Dachau. In comes an ability from the Lord Cain. Not doing as much damage as it could have, but still doing plenty enough. Being focused down by the fire dragons. See the Lord Great and Clean One down here being engaged by the Ogrens, <coughs> forcing them off. Left is the Commissar, but he got killed. In comes an artillery strike from Shaden. <coughs> doing a lot of damage <coughs> on the Chaos Guards. Chaos Guards or Chaos Lines. Of skip. It comes Ryan. Ryan having to be finished. Dealing cannon is caught in a bad position as they're being attacked by the uh, fire dragons. Chaos Lord is still standing present. Only upgrade is still the combi flamer. <coughs> the great unclean one is moving back as he is being shot down by the guardian weapon team. Bright lines. Bright lands. <coughs> On top, we see that Ghetto Shopper have abandoned his attempts, and Dakia is, I guess, no, yeah, huh. Dakia forced off Ghetto, and Ghetto is in a retreat, and Dakia is reclaiming top. As we see, Ryan is standing here with the help of Skip, and they are, <coughs> they are um, moving down to capture the resource point, and forcing off a few warp spiders of Lilith. No, Dakia. <coughs> in comes Wraith Guards of Dakia. Oh, a snap. Uh, a sneaky attack out of Lilith. 
from the whip gate as she attacks with banshees and her farseer. Uh, fire dragons getting hit by something immense and taking tons of damage, falling back into a retreat as they lost all but one model. Warp spiders also taking a lot of damage from the venerable dreadnought as the bright lights team is being countered by the scouts in melee and taken out. Shaitan is coming down from bot with his guardsmen and ogrens and everything. God of Cain is, I don't know what he's doing on top. Helping out I guess, somehow. But it's a waste. In comes a vortex, uh, ultimate vortex from, I don't know, from some of, one of the Eldar. Destroying the tank that was here, the predator, I think, from skip. Venerable Dreadnought, very low on health. Oh, down goes the Ogrens from a devastating squad out of the devastating plasma cannon squad. Let's see, Ryan is present with his tech marine, and so is Mr. Ghetto with his warlock. We see, see a Seer Council squad out of Ghetto. They are extremely strong in melee, especially well working, working against uh, Terminators and any heavy armored guys it doesn't really matter they're excellent <coughs> trying to get out of this as they're being caught in a bad position get a shopper uses his warp push and pushes them away excellent use out of his ability there falling back in a retreat with his seer council squad as he is retreating with his uh, warlock just in time before taking out and getting surrounded by the banshees avatar of Cain have changed away <coughs> and is moving down bot as he is unleashing his great flame, only hitting the Farseer of Lilith. Lilith unleashes her ability of suppression, but not a good time <laughs> to do that, as she is in, right in front of the Avatar. In comes the Nurgle Great and Clean One, as he has replenished his health. In comes a Vortex <coughs> out of Lilith. Will probably hit, yes. Devastating and killing off two units out of skip. Evil, evil. <coughs> Snipers doing their job out of Lilith. Rangers being supported by all the other ones. In comes another ultimate from the Avatar. The enemy is aware and microing it well. <coughs> Have a bright lies fire pistol from Dakyam. As we see that Ghetto have captured top with his Ghetto, with his uh, Ghetto, <laughs> with his Seer Council squad. Banshees of uh, Lilith coming in, engaging Ryan's uh, scouts. They are not in a place they want to be, but they are being helped. I don't know where they're... Yeah, they... Okay. So the Banshees got focused down and are in... It's in a retreat. Someone jumped into the bunker, probably guardsmen of Shaden and got wiped by a grenade as the great and clean one is engaging <coughs> the Lima Russ of Shaden as the Shaden Lima Russ was trying to get to uh, Ryan's oh snap Ryan's predator and managing to do this but losing its life in the process also a vortex went down from uh, Lilith down comes an abyss from chaos from Mr. Skip doing Tons of damage to anyone close by, not doing so much damage though as he would hope. As the vortex we saw earlier that we missed did a lot of damage, wiping some units out of this game as well. Seer Council moving on top. In comes the Venerable Dreadnought Charge, going up against the Dealing Cannon, being focused by everything that is present. Sentinel, no, Sentinel is shooting at the Stern Guard, but we have the Fire Prism. And then the Commissar jumped out and got killed, and down goes the Sentinel. That's... <laughs> Shadon has no units left. <coughs> so yeah. I would say that's a game. Good game out of uh, red. So get a shopper is reclaiming top power. See that they have a strong and firm hold on the natural. DP of bot, natural DP, it's not natural DP here. They're all contested, well, except the top ones, they're natural, this is natural, that natural. Anyway, <coughs> nice.
nice game all in all. Too bad blue. <laughs> Shaylan, you need to work on your uh, microing or something. You need to not lose all your army. Because that is never a good thing. We have a counter attack on top out of Dakia. As he storms out of uh, Webgate. Yes. And is claiming top VP. But we also have a Webgate here. So will we see a transformation from units from this area to that area? Oh. Looks like Banshees got hit by the dealing cannon. As we have Guardsmen being attacked. Not Guardsmen. Fire, fire Dragon Squad being attacked by the Warlock of Get a Shopper in Lee. No, we don't have any upcoming stuff here. As we have a cap coming down from the blue team, and we'll make this game a little bit uh, longer. Which is uh, sometimes nice, sometimes annoying. But we see that the red team has a firm grasp, well, they should have. See where all the heroes are at. Skip is moving on top. We already have a few units out of Gator Shopper on top. The Seer Council is engaging the Banshees and forcing them off. Turning back to head for the the Warlock that is here. Being engaged by Gator Shopper's Warlock and supported by the Fire Prism. A lot of damage coming in. There we saw the <coughs> The slash ability out of the Witchblade of Cornus, as he scared off all of Gator Shopper's army. We only have Mr. Skip coming in to save, but he will surely be able to do this. He have now upgraded his Lord. No, he still haven't upgraded him. I thought he ho was holding the maul, the maul, the big hammer, but he weren't. Wasn't Predator out of Skip flanking the Fire Prism. Dakia. In comes a Vortex from, I guess, Dakia. Trying to hit Skip, missing utterly. Predator managed to take out the Fire Prison, but the Predator also got taken out by the Wraith Guards of Dakia. Now being chased down by the Great Unclean One, they surely have no choice but to flee. As we have a cap coming down from Ryan, this game is over! And I thank you for watching and wasting your time and enjoying my voice so long. So uh, yeah, and I hope you like the music as always. Uh, I will have the link for the, the soundtrack and whatever I'm using down below. And uh, yeah, so yeah, okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the score screen. Peace! Hello and welcome back to the score screen. As we can see, Ghetto Shopper was apparently the champion of this game, so congratulations to you. And uh, as always, command score tab, unit score tab, uh, resource score tab, score tab, point score tab, and then we repeat the unit and the commander one time, two times, yes, overview. So yeah, thank you for watching, see you later, and don't forget to subscribe, and uh, you know, I hope you liked it. I've got streams coming up in a few minutes, just gonna walk my dog, so I'll be announcing that, and um, have a great one, peace out.